guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you could probably tell, I am back home in Puerto Rico. The reason being that my grandmother is very ill, so I flew down here to help take care of her, but thankfully, she is getting a lot better. Um, I will be here for about a month, so during that time, I will be filming my videos here just to give you a little heads up. So today I thought it would be fun to film a what's in my bag video for you guys. Now, I've been wanting to talk about this bag for a while, but I just couldn't find the time. And it is the Henry Bendel Jet Setter Backpack. And I have mine in the, big, in the bigger size. And it is seriously like the best handbag I've ever gotten. And I have a lot of handbags and you guys know I love me a good handbag. This bag is so, I don't know to say like, I don't know, it's just so handy. It's so easy to carry around because obviously you carry it around like a backpack and it is um, convertible so you could switch this and wear it as a crossbody if you wanted. I've never used it like that myself. I just always keep it as a backpack. But it is seriously the best bag I've ever gotten and I've had it for a couple of months now. So mine is obviously packed because I carry a lot of junk. Um, but yeah, so let's quickly get into it. Then once it's empty, I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. So here are the handles and it does have a little button here so that they're not flapping about. So that buttons up really cute like that. So let's quickly get into the bag because it is very, very heavy. All right, so the first thing I pulled out is my Ted Baker makeup bag. Now, I am really not the kind of person to be walking around with makeup in my purse. I don't really like to touch up my makeup as the day goes on. So what I do carry in here are a whole bunch of little random items. So things that would be usually scattered around a purse, I like to keep in here just to keep it a little bit more organized. The very first thing I have on top is my Evian Facial Spray. I have talked about this before. It really, really helps to kind of refresh your makeup if you need it, or if your makeup is looking a little bit cakey, this really helps to give it a more natural finish, so that's a pretty neat trick. Then I have a comb, because you never know when your hair goes all cray cray. And I have here, for some reason, two compact mirrors. Now, I swear and I promise I'm not that conceited, it's just that I recently went to Disney, so my mom bought me this little Marie, um, compact which is really really cute so just little aristocats compact mirror which is probably the one i'm gonna keep like after this video is done i'll take this out of my bag i promise and this one is just from ulta it was a little gift so yeah that is that and not helping my case but i have another thing with a mirror but it's not a compact it is my Urban Decay D-Slick Mattifying Powder. Now this is a white press translucent powder. Are you okay, Pooch? Okay. So this is a translucent powder. It's great for blotting if necessary. Like I said, I'm not the kind of person that likes to touch up my makeup throughout today. So I just carry this around just in case. And I was using this yesterday, so that's why it's in my purse. So I'll put in whatever lipstick or lip gloss I'm currently wearing in this bag. And yesterday, not today, I was using the MAC Lip Pencil in Spice, which is one of my absolute favorites. Then I also have, obviously, my hand sanitizer. I am a germaphobe, so I always have to carry that around. Then I also have a hair tie because I'm always looking for one of these and you never find any. <laughs> Some dental floss, yeah, just, just in case. One pen because last time I was walking around with a whole bunch of pens and a whole bunch of pencils for no reason and this time I only have one so I've been very good about that. <laughs> And my Travelo. I always like to have this in my purse just in case 
you need to fresh up or you need to smell good for some reason. So the very last thing I have in this little bag is the Band-Aid Friction Block Stick. Now this thing is absolutely amazing. If you have new shoes and you haven't broken them in yet, and you are about to get blisters because it really doesn't help after you have a blister um, then you probably need to use a real band-aid but if you are feeling that friction on your heel or wherever it might be quickly pull this out put it on the affected area and it automatically stops the friction and it creates a little barrier between your skin and the shoe and it prevents blisters. So that was everything that was in my little Ted Baker makeup bag. Next, I have my phone charger because I have the iPhone 5S and for some reason, my battery does not last at all anymore. It is really, really bad in battery life. Mine is to another level, it's getting really bad so I constantly have to walk around with my charger now. Then I have my mini emergency kit. This one they used to sell at Sephora. I don't think I've seen it at Sephora um, recently, but I know they do have it in a couple of different other department stores. And this thing is very, very neat. I believe in my last what's in my bag video I read off everything that is in here uh, which I'm not gonna do um, this time and it has come in handy in the past this is actually my second emergency kit because the last one I used all of the items because I am that accident prone so next I have my Tiffany and Co sunglasses and these are <laughs> the style that I'm using at the moment. They have these really cute little crystals on the side. It's a very classic cat eye and they're very um, slim. I don't know, what's the opposite of bulky? They're that. So that's this is what they look like on. Wonderful, wonderful sunglasses. Like I said, I'm a germaphobe. So I always have to walk around with baby wipes. So it opens up like a Ziploc. Well, obviously you pull the wipes from here, but if you need to refill it, then it opens up like a Ziploc. Very easy to refill and reuse. And of course, I also have my wallet. This is a Kate Spade a Continental wallet. Obviously inside my wallet are cards, cash, my tons and tons of different rewards cards and things like that. All right, so in the first pocket, I have my gate key and then the Basha green tea blotting sheets. These are my absolute favorite. I have bought them tons and tons and tons and tons of times. And then also I have here my hourglass lip gloss in canvas. I really like to put this on top of the MAC Lip Pencil and Spice, so that was my lip combo yesterday, so I gotta put that away into my makeup bag now. And the very, very last thing I have here in my handbag is this very pretty ring that I got at Nordstrom. So like I said, now that the handbag is empty, I'll show you what it looks like inside. So the outside obviously is black with gold. It does have two little pockets here at the front on either side. Um, I've never put anything in the pockets, but I guess they are real pockets. You can really use them if needed. Then on the inside, it is a purple color, has three pockets, um, one with a zipper. Then it has another one for, I guess, your um, electronics if needed and then obviously one for your iPhone if you can see that one right here so like I've said over and over again I absolutely love this handbag it comes so in handy when you're traveling when you're going shopping and it is a backpack but it still looks sophisticated and chic I don't look like a big kindergartner walking around with my little school backpack and it's made out of great material so it is waterproof and it's easy to wipe down if it gets dirty um 
So yeah, so that was everything that was in my bag. Let me know in the comments down below what are some of the odd things that you carry around in your handbag. I'd really, really like to read that. And I hope that you guys found this video entertaining. Like always, all of my links will be down below so that we can stay connected. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified every time I put out a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by. And until next time, bye. I got this very, very cute mug that says make it happen. And one of the things that I have